Yo, there is a huge bank. I'm talking about a bank that many people know about that's out here now handing out mortgages like it's Christmas. They are offering mortgages that do not require any down payment. You will not have to pay any closing costs. And get this, they do not require a minimum credit score. So it doesn't matter if you have a 300, 400, or 800, you can still qualify for this mortgage and you get to keep the money that's in your savings account. Now don't you worry, you know I'm here to tell you everything you need to know about it. What's up guys, this is Monique and welcome back to the channel. I am back with the news that you definitely can use, but first, if you are new here, hello, bonjour, hola, aloha, konnichiwa, wagwan, shalom, assalamu alaikum. Thanks for stopping by, but don't be a stranger. Hit that subscribe button and join the fam. So let's get right into this. This huge bank that I keep talking about, this bank that you need to know about is actually Bank of America. And they just released this information this week. It's hot off the press, y'all. And I'm bringing it to you right now so that you can hop on this. So they started a program called the Community Affordable Loan Solution. And this program is aimed at helping first time home buyers in black and Hispanic communities. But you do not have to be black to qualify for this program program according to the bank. So what they are trying to do, what they are focused on is basically narrowing that gap that remains between white and minority home ownership. Why? Because if we look at the stats here, 72% of white households owned a home compared to 42% of black households, 57% Asian, and 47.5% of Hispanic households that own their homes. So in trying to help to close this gap, Bank of America is offering these mortgages that do not require any down payments, any closing costs, nor do they require a minimum credit score. Yes, you are hearing this right. And this is legit, and I will be giving you Bank of America's contact information so that you could call them and check for yourself because why I always tell everybody you want to check this out for yourself I don't care who's on here telling you this information but before we get into all the juicy details please do me a huge favor and gently tickle that like button for me go ahead on and hit the like button so that you can help me get this information out to more people but now like I said with this program Bank of America will not be requiring any minimum credit scores so if you have a 350 of 475 of 525 if you just cannot hit all of those scores that was needed for loans for this particular loan that is not going to be what you need to qualify you what they will actually be looking at though this is important is they're going to be looking at your rental history they're going to be checking out those payments making sure that you made on-time payments they'll also be looking at things like your utility bills your phone bill and your auto insurance payments bank of america said they want people to be able to use these other mechanisms to define their credit worthiness because you know sometimes we make mistakes and those mistakes tend to follow us throughout life but we're not living that way anymore you know we've made up for that mistake we've been doing things right but we just can't shake it so that's why they are looking at these other factors because they want you to be able to buy a house and build your wealth this is what they say and another thing worth mentioning about this program this is going to be something that helps to kind of decrease the amount that you're going to have to pay each month on that mortgage. And that is the fact that this program will not require you to pay mortgage insurance. You do not have to get mortgage insurance with this one. On top of them not requiring a minimum credit score, they have a $15 billion program called the Community Home Ownership Commitment that helps to pay the down payments for low income families. So under this program that Bank of America is doing, they will be giving grants for ten to fifteen thousand dollars to the borrower to pay that down payment, the bank is trying to help people out, but they are not crazy. They are doing this as an incentive to make sure people continue to pay their payments in case something big happens to where they have to decide between paying a mortgage or going to do something else. Because we know what the good comes to bad, and although they are offering all these things to people, there will be some people that probably kind of fall short. And at the end of the day, the 
your bank is a business and they want to make sure that they get their money back so they're using that as kind of like an incentive to get you to make sure you make your payment i hope you guys are still with me i'm giving you a lot of information i'm trying to get through this quickly if you are still here drop it down in the comments and let me know monique i'm still here i'm tuned in because i'm trying to get it and we are about to talk about the qualifications of the borrower what they expect of you what they need from you in order for you to get into this program so first and foremost they will require you to complete a home buyer's course and get that certification from hud and hud is the housing and urban development and they also want you to receive counseling and in order to qualify you will have to demonstrate that you are able to repay that loan so basically that means they're going to be also looking at your income they're not out here just handing out loans just to people that's trying to get in black and hispanic communities no they want to make sure that they're going to get their money back because like i just mentioned they're a business and they want to be paid now although they won't be giving no huge loans to people that do not have the income to match that loan there is no minimum or maximum on the amount of loan that you can qualify for so if you have the money to match that million dollar mortgage loan then they can give it to you if you need a smaller loan they'll give it to you because there's no minimum and maximum on the amount of loan you can get so we're going to go ahead on and cruise on over to the application process really quickly and when you apply you will not have to disclose your race like i said earlier this loan itself is not for black and hispanics only anybody can get the loan but the thing that they will be checking is the u.s census to make sure where you are trying to get the loan for the house you are trying to buy is actually in a black or hispanic community and that means that there has to be over 50 percent of the people in that area that you are buying a house that has to be a minority other than that that's pretty much all they kind of harped on when they talk about the application process like i said this is very new y'all so it's not a whole lot of information out there but i tried to dig through it all and find the most important things to bring to you right now and another thing that i did find this is a trial y'all they're gonna try this out so of course if it don't work out they're not gonna go any further so with this being a trial they're not going to start with it everywhere they're actually going to start in that Dallas, Detroit, Los Angeles, Miami, Charlotte, and North Carolina. And they did not specify where else they will be going, when they will be changing anything else. But it is believed that this will be expanding to other cities later. So do not count yourself out, y'all. That's why I'm giving you all of this information ahead of time, too, in case you are not in these areas that you can start to get prepared for it. But hopefully these areas do what they're supposed to do and everything goes smoothly so everybody else can be in included in that number so this is mainly what they put out at this point if I see anything else that's worth coming back and telling y'all, you know I will tell you. But I do want to give you their contact information. They have a phone number 1-800-641-8362. If you are in those areas that they are starting this process, then you can go ahead on and reach out to them. Or if you have any kind of questions, you want to know any more information than what I told you. Because what I told you is all that I know then you can go ahead on and reach out to them so that you can get your questions answered. Other than that, I hope this was helpful today, guys. I thank you so much for watching. If you did not like this video, go ahead, like it for me. Also, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, we are out. Peace. <laughs>